Michael I'm Beast. Good, man. I'm good, bro. How you doing? I'm good, buddy. I'm good. I feel like it's been a while. Oh, man. A little while. I got, got a little recovery in between, you know? And yeah. uh, back to work. Nice. Yeah, well, no, exactly. Yeah. I mean, main event again next weekend. Apex, Sean Brady. What, what do we think about this matchup, Gilbert? I'm excited. He's a, he's a tough one. He's a good name. I'm number six, number eight. Uh, it makes sense. Finally, it makes sense that I was giving a step back. It's crazy, but that step back is not as crazy. So number six, number eight, sometimes like number four, I go all the way to number 14, end of the life, number 11. At least he's not that far. And uh, he's a tough opponent. I like these guys who are 15 and one. Uh, yeah, I like that fight a lot. Yeah, of course. I mean, you fought everybody, but in terms of Sean Brady, we'll talk about your career in a second, but this guy, he's known for the jiu-jitsu. What are we saying, Gil? But when you when you hear, when you, do you kind of like laugh and be like, bro, come on, you ain't going to jujitsu me. <laughs> I like it, to be honest, you know. And so <laughs> if you want to grapple, let's grapple, you know, let's grapple. He He's a, a black belt from Daniel Grace, you know, a lot of respect to Daniel Gracie. Uh, yeah, he's tough, bro. I'm not, I'm not gonna like sit down here and say the guy's tough, you know. He beat a couple yeah. uh, high level competition, Kelvin Gastelum, uh, a couple other dudes that were very tough. He was toe to toe with with uh, with Bilal until he got a finish. So, yeah, he, he's a very tough dude. I respect him, but mm -hmm. I like the matchup when they say his name. I like it very much. They they try to hurry up for July. I said, no, 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 no. July is too close. Now that I'm getting back in shape training, I need a little bit more time. And they, okay, we still want to make that fight. I say, perfect. And they say, September, I say, perfect. Any, anything September is good. Nice, nice. Well, best of luck, buddy. I'll be there. I'll be commentating. So oh, I can't wait nice. for it. You, you always show up, Gil, but you always put on a show, yeah, you know? Sure. And I was just looking at your fight record there. I mean, talk about a murderer's role, man. It is insane. I mean, let's have a look at this little run here. You know it. Jack Della Madalena, Bilal Mohammed, the champ, Masvidal, Magni, Hamza, Usman, Woodley, Maya. Ain't no easy fights for Gilbert Burns. That's what we want, right? We don't sometimes we want an easy money, but sometimes you gotta <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes we gotta kind of show up, you know, and then I think that's why the fans like it, everybody like it. every time that I go in there, I'm gonna leave everything in there. And then I kinda like that. Uh, even though I'm on the one that the, 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 on the tough path of my career, that was the only time that I got two losses back to back. Uh, a lot of learning. Uh, the, on the same way too, it's good that I'm like on a very good time of my life, like uh, personal life, spiritual life. I'm in a great place. Otherwise, it would be hard to, to, to be on that moment, but I'm, I'm in a good moment. So uh, take one day at a time, taking a lot of experience from, from my teammates. And uh, I'm excited to be back, you know, to be there, especially right now at that moment. When they say Apex is not my favorite place to fight, I like those big arenas. And uh, yep. But whenever for that moment comes from two losses, Apex – Tom Brady, main event, I kind of, okay, I, I like how that sounds, you know, more intimacy. You've been there, you come in all these fights, but it's a private sparring session. You know, for sure, I'm going to kill, try to kill this guy, but it's a, it's a it's kind of sparring private with a lot of guys coming, you know, not a lot, it's what, 100 people that is in there, maybe. So, yeah, they're, they're actually expanding it at the moment. It's oh, going to nice. be a lot bigger, I think, at some point. So they're going to have a few thousand in there. So that should nice. be cool. But yeah, man, you, you've been there. You fought for the belt in there against Kamara Usman. You know how it is. Um, you just mentioned there are two losses in a row. Um, no shame in that. You've been fighting the best guys. But one of those guys is Bilal Mohammed, who's now the welterweight champion of the world. Who, I mean, he went out there and put a whooping on Leon Edwards. It was a great night at the office. When you when you shared the octagon with him, though, what happened? Because we haven't actually spoken. Did you – you did something to your shoulder. What was the actual injury? Yeah. Oh, I have, like, four different injuries on the shoulder at that time. But I, I came healthy to the fight. Well, even though we were short notice, but I was healthy. I was looking good. That was, like, three weeks after I fell mass without so I was in shape. Uh, the first takedown that I shot on him, he did a good down block. He went all the way down, shoulder down. And he blocked my shot. When he blocked it, I landed with my weight, full weight, and his weight on my shoulder, both. And that was AC joint. That was like, 
I, I even the trapezius muscle, I have a, a big tear that was mm-hmm. a lot to, to get back. I to be honest, it was that was one of the toughest moments I focused on the solution. It's like, okay, I messed up, and then I go next week, I come to the gym. What can I do better? What did I do wrong? Yep. Okay, and then I'm gonna. And then I couldn't have done that. That was the toughest part because I got back and the doctor said, hey, your your shoulder is just like, it's barely there. You know, it's kind of like it's hanging in there. If you walk hard, if you sprint, we need a surgery on your shoulder. So you can't do nothing for two months. Let's put a, uh, a steel cells in there and then we wait. We'll see. And then I got to wait like two months not doing anything. No nah. training. And then... When, after that, I got back to my doctor. I said, okay, you don't need surgery, but let's do another another shot and wait a little bit more. So it was just like almost four months waiting. So we slowly get back to PT and get back to train just to avoid the surgery. And uh, yeah, that was, that, was, that was a tough one to solve. And then, okay, then I'm good. I'm back. You get back to train. Boom. Lost by TKO the last round. The fight that I was actually doing it was good. you were doing good as well it was a great fight you were doing I really good <laughs> he got you the bastard <laughs> he did he, 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 and shout out to the guy because he was actually a very nice guy he hit me up a couple of times he he got freaking surgery on, on his arm he's still like not free to to fight again and uh, he just caught me like that one to be honest was easier than swallow than the shoulder injury because that one after a, a little bit rest. I was back in training. The Bilal Mohammed took took a while for me to come back. Yeah, that's the hardest part as well. Like, for example, myself, I have surgery tomorrow. I'm getting a disc replacement in my neck. And my wife, this morning, we just went for a walk with the dog. She's like, listen, after surgery, you've got to do what the doctor says, okay? Follow the rules. Don't be working out again too soon. I'm like, babe, I'll be fine. The hardest part, as you said, is sitting that's around and doing nothing, nothing, man. I just, I, I can't do it. Especially us, we have the adrenaline, you know, like that. I think that's where a lot of fighters kind of get caught with that. You know, they they slowing down. They shouldn't be fighting, but they want that feeling of beating another guy. The arm, the arms, you know, raising your yeah. arm up, and it, we 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 kind of addicted to that. And then whenever okay, sit down and don't do nothing. It's just like, it's what hard. do you mean sit down and don't do nothing? That that's the worst. But. Uh, thankful, I'm a, I'm on I'm on a great place, you know. Like uh, I'm super friends with Gregory Rodriguez, Vicente Luque, mm. and he's a Brazilian church, very close to the house. So I started joining the church, and then he think in my perspective, kind of changed a little bit because if I didn't have the church and these guys, I think I, I'll be depressed after that second loss, you know. Because the first one was already tough, and then I got back, everything good, and boom. So, but I, I'm my mind. I'm in a good place right now, to be honest. I'm very hungry. Mm. I want to fight. Uh, and, and I think there's a great matchup. But it was a lot of experience, a lot of learning. But now it's time to execute that learning the, and the, the, every, all the experience that I got on the way, you know? Yeah, I mean, look, listen, you beat Sean Brady. You, you're still – what are you ranked right now? Like six or seven, six. something like that? I'm six. six. He's number eight, yeah. Yeah, so you beat Sean Brady. You're very much still in the conversation. For sure. Uh, Bilal Muhammad is the champ. What do you think of his like uh, ability to have a long reign? What do you? Oh. What do you? How do you see the run of Bilal Muhammad? Did you remember the text that I sent it to you? You asked me who you think is going to be remember or no? Oh, I did. I, I did. I, and, and I forgot to mention it on commentary. I was like, you know what? I'm going to ask uh, Gilbert. I'll say it on commentary, and I completely forgot. But go on. What was the no, text? It's all good. But you remember that, right? I, I don't know if it was in the text on the Instagram, yeah. but you say. Let me know what you th- who you think is gonna win. And then, <laughs> if you have that, I don't know if it was Instagram text. Instagram. L- look what I did. I said, "Hey, <laughs> Bilal Muhammad is gonna beat this guy. He's gonna go forward. He's gonna apply the takedown. Gonna put pressure. I think he's gonna win." Let's have a look. You did say this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can't find it. It's here. Oh, tough fight, but I believe Bilal's going to make it a dog fight. I think that's the only way for him to win, and I believe he will do that. Randy Couture-style dog fight inside Dirty Boxing mixed up with the wrestling. I mean, come on. You're taking my job, man. You're, getting, you're hitting it. Nail on the head straight out of the park. You were that was right crazy, that. right? That was crazy. So I can't, I don't know why I saw that coming. I saw... Uh, I think Leon got, got a couple of injuries. I don't know. 
exactly what was, but he didn't look ready and Bilal Muhammad looked on point. You know, the guy looked yeah. super hungry. And especially knowing that they don't want to give the title shot, right? So now that they give, I, I got to think that because if you lose that fight, they will never give a title shot to this guy again. So that was kind of his chance, and he did an amazing. Uh, right now, at the vision seats right now, I think uh, Shab Khan might be next. I think I heard a little conversation maybe by uh, December. Uh, but, yeah, we got Shab Khan might be the, the front runner to fight for the title. Then we got uh Kamaru that they were talking but I think Kamaru has to do one fight. Let let let's see how it goes with me and Sean Brady, but I'm ready to take on those big dogs right there. Leon Edwards, Kamaru, Kobe. First I gotta focus on Sean Brady, but I wanna I know it's kinda like two fights, you know, I gotta beat Sean Brady and maybe one more guy to to kinda put myself yeah. in the conversation. And that's what I'm planning to do. So uh but yeah, Bilal get a big. Uh, his hands gonna be full now with Shad Kai. He's, he's a tough fight. I think he can go with the way there. I I gotta take a better look. Whenever he gets official, I'm gonna look at better. But yeah, that, that's a tough fight for both guys. Shad Kai's one of your teammates, right? Yes, yes. He's all the way in Kazakhstan. He comes to do more camps right here. He's a tough dude, bro. Guy's a problem. Oh, yeah. Like good striking, tall, big for the division. Still young. He's very good. But we're going to have this same situation, aren't we? You go out there, let's say you beat Sean Brady, then you get another big one. Shabcast the champ. It's you and Kamara sure. Usman all over again. Teammates. Oh, I love it. Yeah, you don't do care. It yeah, I'll, you take, I'll fight. You try and take I'll, the belt off your teammates. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyone. I'll, I'll, the best scenario will be beat Sean Brady, finish him quick, beat Kamara and and be whoever's the champion. Be Shabcast, what yeah. I, I don't care. I'll, we know we we'll fight each other. We We don't care. We're not. He's not, he's not a bad blood. Honestly, we mm, train, no. we we make each other better, but oh, everyone wants to be the best, right? So we gotta be the best. So he, he's all exactly. good. He's all. We we respect that on each other already. You know, like you're doing your job, I'm doing my job. It's like if it's only one commentator, you gotta go through Paul Felder, gotta go through DC. I know you're going, I know you don't care. I will fight them for it. <laughs> I always for say, sure. like, because all the other guys that are coming up, your Joe Bands, your Michael Kiesis, yeah. they all want my job. They're all gonna, sure. they're all trying to steal my job. Let's be honest. <laughs> Just like everyone's trying to be the champion. You know what for I mean? Sure. So I mean, it is what it is. I love hearing fighters like you, Gilbert. Just be honest about it. It's like, yeah, if, yeah. bro, if he's the champ, I'm okay. going to fight him. You get these fighters going, oh, can't teammates, teammates. When you set off on this journey, on this yeah. path, you make all this sacrifice. You didn't know for these sure. people. You don't do it for, for sure. them. I don't it's care. like, who yeah. wants to sit around and see someone else that you're not friends, yeah. uh, sorry, that you didn't know that's not family, be the champion, making millions of dollars and all being celebrated while you just be a training partner. It's like, no, yeah. no, bro. That's Even, not what I signed up for. No, for sure. No. Even Ian Gary, we have a great relationship. He's a cool dude. I, I have nothing but respect. Like, we always have fun. I was there on his fight. I saw this guy in Brazil. We, we're fun. We're cool. But if they offer, we, we're both going to say yes. And it is what it is. I... I don't care, you know, if we gotta fight, we gotta fight, and then oh, the no. best man wins. Oh, we trained before, yeah, so what? Uh, we trained, but it's not, I'm not trying to kill you, you know, I mean, we just trained, so. Gilbert I, I, Burns cool versus that. Ian Gary is what I'm hearing here. You're gonna get the win, you're gonna call out Ian Gary? <laughs> I'll call Kamaru, I'll call Kamaru first. Oh, you want, a, you want another shot of Kamaru? I want, I want for sure win the rematch, but yeah, I want. It's not that Ian Gary for sure. I would do that fight too, but for me, it's like the guys that are in front of me that that would be the biggest fights. You know, like Leon Weathers and now have no opponent. That's a big fight. Kamaru was my former champion rematch. Is a good fight. And Kobe Kobe to choose another one. I'm not gonna waste my time with this guy, but. Uh, you know he's gonna be on, on my list if if they give me one of those three guys. That's uh, a big win over these three guys. It, it's a, it's a title shot, you know. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I saw recently you said as well you've probably only got a handful of fights left, right? Before yeah, yeah, you, yeah, for sure. Before you retire, um, I mean, number one, what a career, what a career, yeah, what a you. run. But like, how, how old did you retire? I was thirty-seven. Yeah, I'm 38 30, no, 30, already. 38. 38. 38. Yeah, see? Yeah, I, I, I was 38. But I had one eye. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I, I wanted to keep going for a bit longer, but that kind of retired me for me, you know? Um, but, dude, I mean, 
Unbelievable. Did you ever think when you started doing martial arts that this would become your life? You would make, no. you know, this would be how you'd be paying the bills. I mean, I am so grateful for being a part of the UFC, having the career that I did and just making me the man that I am today. I'm sure you're the same. The same, the same. And then that was, that was the dream, right? To be able to live from fighting. I had no idea. I always believed that I could do but I didn't know it was going to be like that today. Like, thank God, I, I, I got a nice house. I got a couple of other investments that, that, that week. I don't need to fight, but I want to fight. And uh, yeah, I still got a couple more fights. I don't know how, I don't, I don't know how many more. I know it's not going to be like 10 more fights. I don't think I have 10 more fights, but no better way than keep fighting the best guys in the division, you know, make that run to the title. And uh, and and that would be Michael Bisping. Sorry, if I, and I believe he'll be able to get that that title, and then like a couple more fights, and then we'll see. But but that's the goal right now. So I'm uh, I'm uh, to be honest, right now that I know it's getting short, the window's closing. I enjoy more, you know. Like now, I yeah. want to fight. I want to fight more, you know. Let me. If I'm not injury, if I'm not cool, I'm I'm gonna get another fight soon. But. That that's the goal now to fight it to stay healthy to get no injuries a little harder right now. I mean the fact that you went the distance with the current champion with one arm, yeah. you know what I mean? It it says you still got you still got the goods, you're still For capable. Sure. And what yeah. a great career that uh, what a finish to a career yeah. that would be. Oh my god, that'll, best that'll of luck. Be, yeah. Thank you. Do you ever yeah. think about what you're gonna do when you retire? I know you and Moicano, the money yeah. podcast, I know that's popping. Yeah. I owe you an appearance anytime, that'll hit be. me up. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm kind of, I'm start like putting a little, a little things there, podcast, like the YouTube, uh, Portuguese. I have a YouTube only Portuguese because I had the one, I started with the one in America and everybody in Brazil was killing me. Yeah. Uh, now I start one in Portuguese and bro, like in two months, you get over 30,000. It's going crazy. So that's one thing that I'm going to put a lot of, a lot of, uh, effort to it. But I don't know. I have a couple of projects with the UFC. You know, I want to bring the, the UFC PI to Brazil. I think it's mm. so many great... Oh, that's, uh, that's clever. Yeah, so many great athletes there. Like, so many. But the country is so corrupt. It's so poor. They're like... A lot of guys, they cannot make it. The so yeah. many... Alex Pereira there. So many other legends there. But they they might not be able to, to live doing MMA. You know, so that's... One of the things that I have in store, like be the yeah. one that's going to bring the PI to Brazil and then kind of like work with the UFC together. That that That's one of the goals that I have, you know, start being yeah, around it's, sports. It's, yeah, It's crazy that there, there, there isn't a PI there because that seems like the obvious place. It was the birthplace of mixed martial arts. So many legendary fighters, so much talent. You know, being a Brazilian yourself, how is the level of recognition for the UFC in Brazil compared to America? It's big. It's just the thing with Brazil is so corrupt right now. Like they 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 try to control the the politician now. Those guys that take over now, they are kind of like they left it. So it's kind of like he's not going in a good ways. But number one sport in Brazil is soccer. But like by far, it's like soccer is right here. Yeah. Then volleyball. Then it's it's kind of MMA volleyball. And volleyball. Freaking volleyball is big in Brazil, what the hell? Bro. like because these guys they all win medals in in Olympics in in, yeah. the, in the worst day, but freaking MMA is getting there. It's kind of like MMA second place almost right now, but the the difference from soccer is so big. Soccer is number oh. one mainstream everywhere. Kind of same thing in England, right? Same same thing in England. It's it's every, football's here. And then everything else is down here. That's after. Brazil. That's, all pe- That's Brazil. The back pages, all the newspapers, all the TV coverage, it's just football, yeah. football, football. Yeah. All same, right, well, listen, Gilbert, Brazil. I've taken up enough of your time, buddy. I'll see you at the Apex in two weeks. The Money Podcast, anytime you want me, buddy, you just let me know. Thank you for your time. Best of luck against Sean Brady. Get the PI up and down in Brazil. What else? Don't Thanks don't blow you. your arm out in the first round and you'll be good. <laughs> no. Yes, that would be great. And then... <laughs> We, you come to the pod after the fight, after the fight, Monday or Tuesday after the fight, we, we do a nice pod right there. 100%. Let's do it, buddy. Nice day.